Hey guys, Trevor here from LumCube to walk you through the best ways to use the Broadcast Lighting Kit, our go-to desktop lighting solution for video conferencing, self-broadcasting, and live streaming. Let's get into it. When you open the box, you will find a panel go with a diffuser, your desktop stand, your suction cup mount, and underneath you will find a USB-C charging cable and a USB-C to USB-A adapter, as well as the how-to card and the quick start guide. To turn on the panel go, simply locate the button on the side of the light. You'll hold it for three seconds and your light will turn on. Once you turn your light on, you'll also notice that the LCD screen on back turns on. This is your control panel to see your settings like brightness, color temperature, and how much battery life you have left. The broadcast lighting kit allows you to adjust the color temperature of your light, meaning you can adjust it from more of a warm orange light to more of a white light. This is great for finding the right lighting effect for your skin tones and also to match the ambient lighting in the room. To adjust the color temperature of your light, push the button on side until the arrow is pointing at the color temperature section. You will then use the adjustment dial to go up or down depending on the lighting effect you're going for. As you push the dial up, you'll go more towards a white light and as you push the dial down, you'll go more towards a warm orange light. When it comes to adjusting the brightness of your panel go, it's the same process. Simply push the button to move the adjustment arrow from color temperature to brightness. As you push the adjustment dial up, you'll increase brightness up to 100%. And as you push the dial down, you'll decrease brightness down to 5%. Now keep in mind, as you're adjusting the brightness of your light, your battery indicator will also change. This is super helpful for knowing how long your lighting will last. The runtime really depends on the brightness setting that you are using your panel go at. For example, on full power, 100% brightness, it'll last 1.2 hours. It will last 2.3 hours on 50% brightness and up to 16 hours on 5% brightness. However, if you need your broadcast lighting kit to last for longer durations, you can leave it plugged in and recharging indefinitely. To charge your broadcast lighting kit, simply locate the USB-C recharge port on side of the light. Then take the included USB-C charging cable and insert it into the charging port. Once you plug in your broadcast lighting kit, a battery indicator on back will pop up to confirm that it is charging. Once the battery indicator is completely full, you're fully charged up and ready to go. Keep in mind, it generally takes 1.5 to two hours to go from zero to 100% battery. If you're looking to charge your broadcast lighting kit from a USB-C recharge port, you will use the adapter that's included in the box. To use the adapter, start by plugging the USB-C side into your computer or USB-C port. Take the USB-A part of your charging cable and plug it into the USB-A section of the adapter. Knowing that the broadcast lighting kit would be used to light up mainly people, we wanted to make it as soft and easy to look at as possible. We custom designed the panel go with an overlaid frosted lens as one layer of diffusion, and we've included a second add-on diffuser to make the light as soft as possible and easy on the eyes. To apply the add-on diffuser to your panel go, simply slide it over the front like so, and be sure that the holes in the diffuser line up with the buttons on the panel go. Now that you know how to use your light, let's get into the mounting options. One of the best things about the broadcast lighting kit is it comes with five mounting options included in the box. The mounting option you choose really depends on two things. The amount of available desk space you have and the angle and location of which you want your lighting to be shining on you. Option one is the desktop stand. You'll start by opening the legs of your desktop stand. Once your legs are open, you can use the tension disc to secure your legs into place. Just be sure that the disc is blocking the legs from collapsing and you'll be good to go. Once your legs are locked into place, you can adjust the height of your desktop stand by simply pulling on top like so. Once you've found your desired height, the last step is to mount your lighting to the desktop stand. Simply locate one of the quarter 20 threads. There are two of them on the light and screw the panel go onto the ball head mount of the desktop stand. Now that your panel go is mounted to your desktop stand, you can mess around with the angle and location of which it is lighting you up. Mounting option number two. You'll use this if you wanna get your light even lower to your desk than it currently is. You'll start by unscrewing the telepod from the base of your broadcast lighting kit, and then unscrew the telepod from the ball head mount on top. You will then attach the ball head mount to the legs on bottom. 
and the end result looks like this. Mounting option number three. You'll remove the legs from the bottom of your stand and replace it with the included suction cup. To attach the suction cup to the bottom of the stand, simply locate the quarter 20 thread and attach the suction cup like so. Once your suction cup is securely mounted to the stand, you can locate the section on your desk that you would like to mount to. Be sure to clean the surface and ensure that it is dust free. Then to mount it to your desktop, simply unlatch the suction cup, press down on the suction cup and close the latch shut. Then locate the screw on side and twist it clockwise to lock your lighting into place. Option number four. This is our most low profile mounting option for your broadcast lighting kit. It involves the suction cup and the panel go. Simply screw the panel go onto the suction cup and then use the tension disc on bottom to spin it counterclockwise to tighten it on the bottom of the panel go. Once you have your panel go mounted to your suction cup, you can mount it anywhere on your desk like so. And the fifth and final option is to use your suction cup and panel go to mount to your laptop, desktop, or any flat surface. If you're interested in learning more about this mounting option, check out our video on our video conference lighting kit. Once you've found your preferred mounting option, make those last adjustments to fine tune your lighting to get the look you're going for. Adjust both brightness and color temperature to look as well lit and natural on camera. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope this helped you get a better understanding of how to use the broadcast lighting kit. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to support at loomcube.com or drop a question in the comments below. See you guys next time.